I saw this interesting news article on Fox News. Pelosi on wildfires in California and West. Mother Earth is angry. Quote, the climate crisis is real and has an impact, the San Francisco Democrat says. The article goes on to read, quote, there's a message in the raging wildfires that have scorched her home state of California, as well as neighboring states, according to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Mother Earth is angry, the San Francisco Democrats said during an appearance Thursday on MSNBC. She's telling us, whether she's telling us with hurricanes on the Gulf Coast, fires in the West, whatever it is, that the climate crisis in Rio and has an impact. Mother Earth is angry, Speaker Pelosi says, disgusting wildfires burning in California. She's telling us with hurricanes on the Gulf Coast, fires in the West, whatever it is, the climate crisis is real and has an impact. So Mother Earth is angry, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says. Let me be clear, House Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, the one who is anger, angry, we should be most concerned about is not Mother Earth, but Father God. He created the earth, the sky, the universe, and its inhabitants. Mankind has disregarded, disobeyed, and defied Father God. Our secular society has tried to distance themselves from him, from his word, and it's from his commandments. Many have rejected the one who made us, who loves us, who sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for us, for our sins. We should be running to Father God, not turning our backs on him and his commandments. His is the anger and wrath we should care most about. So the Bible says, but because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Romans 2 5. So there is no Mother Earth. There is Father God. And He has a Son whose name is Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. It never ceases to amaze me. Many people who profess to be Christians are denying Christ daily. And the main reason for their denial is that people would rather cherish their temporary life here on earth more than our eternal future life in heaven with God. But when you realize that everything in this life is temporary, it will burn you will begin to not set your eyes on this temporary existence. Your life will be more valuable to you. Your life will be more for our eternal God. See, the Bible says Jesus Christ is the only way into heaven. And if you don't accept his loving sacrifice, then you are denying Father God. There are many other ways that that this can be done as well as such as being silent when it's time to speak up. Saying the Bible is fake, living a sinful lifestyle, um, living a worldly lifestyle, and being ashamed of the gospel is rejection of Father God and Christ Jesus. 
and the consequences of denying Christ is life in hell without parole. You can be in hell for a hundred years and it has just begun. You can be in hell for a thousand years and it has just begun. You can be in hell for a million years and it has just begun. So I beseech you, my brothers and sisters, seek wisdom by meditating on the word of God so you can stand firm and block off Satan's attacks. See, understand this. When you deny God, you are showing cowardness. When you align with Nancy Pelosi and saying, Mother Earth, you are showing cowardness. There is no Mother Earth. Earth was created by Father God and His Son Christ Jesus. There is no Mother Earth. And when you deny God, you are showing cowardness. You will be afraid to do things because you are a Christian. For example, what about the times you go to a restaurant and you your food arrives to the table and everybody's watching and you say to yourself, if I bow my head and I say my grace, they will know that I am a Christian. So what I'll do is I'll just pray with my eyes open so people don't know that I'm a Christian. See, my brothers and sisters, we must watch out for these little alternative things that we do or say to people that in a way is distancing ourselves from Christ Jesus. I challenge you and I challenge myself. Let's begin to boldly tell people, I am a Christian and I cherish Christ Jesus. He is not only all you need, Jesus Christ is all we have. Jesus Christ is all we have. The Bible goes on to say in 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, Dear friends, do not believe everyone who claims to speak by the Spirit. You must test them to see if the spirit they have comes from God. For there are many false prophets in the world. This is how we know if they have the spirit of God. If a person claiming to be a prophet acknowledged that Jesus Christ came in a real body, that person has the spirit of God. But if someone claims to be a prophet, and does not acknowledge the truth about Jesus that person is not from God such a person has the spirit of the Antichrist which you heard is coming into the world and is indeed already here first John chapter 2 verses 22 through 23 says and who is a liar Anyone who says that Jesus is not the Christ. Anyone who denies the Father and the Son is an Antichrist. Anyone who denies the Son doesn't have the Father either. But anyone who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. 2 John chapter 1 verse 7 says, I say this because many deceivers have gone out into the world. They deny that Jesus came in a real body. Such a person is a deceiver and an antichrist. I understand in 2020, it's not cool to be a Christian. When you are ashamed of God, you are denying the Lord. When it's time to speak up and you remain silent, you are denying the Lord. 
If you never share Christ with your friends or never witness to the loss, you are denying the Lord. And let me be frank. Being a coward may take you to a devil's hell. Matthew the gospel of Matthew chapter 10 verses 31 says it this way. So don't be afraid. You are more valuable to God than a whole flock of sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me public here on earth, I will also acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But everyone who denies me here on earth, I will also deny before my Father in heaven. 2 Timothy 2 11 says this this is a trustworthy saying if we die with him we will also live with him if we endure hardship we will reign with him if we deny him he will deny us he will deny us I don't know about you, my brothers and sisters, but I don't want Christ to deny me because I thought it was more comfortable to deny him on this earth. Understand this, only what we do for Christ will last. I challenge us not try to fit into this world or try to be friends with the world and fit in. But I challenge you to stand out and stand for Christ Jesus. If none of your friends know that you are a Christian, something is wrong. I often say, say this, if you go to court and your crime is being a Christian, would you be found guilty or would you be found innocent? Would you be found guilty or would you be found innocent? My strive in this life is to be found guilty for being a lover of God, for being a lover of Christ Jesus. You deny God by denying God's word. We must never add or take away from or twist any scripture. Keep your trust and hope in Christ Jesus. There is no mother earth, but there is the creator of the universe. And his name is Christ Jesus. Amen.